In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your IT administrator has limited access in Windows 11. So if you're trying to navigate your computer as usual and get this error which says page not available, your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app and the item you tried to access is not available, contact IT help desk for more information with the only option being to press OK. I'll show you how to fix this right now. Now, the most straightforward and easiest fix for this by far is to go down here where the Windows uh, logo is, click on it and type in update. Now, you wanna click check for updates. Now, I know this may sound silly, but this is what works for most people. What you wanna do is press check for updates over here and then Windows will automatically check for your updates on your computer so it will see if there's anything missing and if there's an update it can apply to your computer and as you can see it found one update for me what you want to do is press download and install and let computer your computer install and um, kind of download the update okay so it will do it automatically of course and your computer will restart and then see if the error was fixed now if it wasn't I have one little thing for you, but it's not guaranteed to work. It works for some people and it doesn't work for the others. I don't know why. However, if this didn't help for you, it it may help what I'll show you right now, okay? What you wanna do is right click down here on your Windows logo and click terminal and admin, okay? Make sure it doesn't, it says admin and you don't click the usual one. In here, you wanna open this up and then enter your admin pin if necessary and type this in, okay? So as it is over here, set dash M preference, and then spacebar dash UI lockdown spacebar zero. So just type that in. You can see it on my screen. You can pause the video. Make sure to type that in like I did, okay? So simply type it in, and then you wanna press enter. I just did that so it does nothing right now. And then when you do this, you can simply exit this terminal and then you can try and see if the error appears again. If it doesn't, congratulations, we've successfully fixed it. So I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.